Tanshek Yoao. Hello, everyone. Nimiya Tene Wapa Mateka Nosh. My name is Benny Misho, and I am a proud member of the Two Spirit Working Group within the MNO. And I'm really pleased today to be able to give you an update on all of the work that the Metis Nation of Ontario Two Spirit Working Group has accomplished over the course of the past six years. In 2016, at the MNO AGA in North Bay, a resolution was passed to create a Two Spirit Working Group. In establishing this advisory body, the intention was to honour the tradition of our Métis ancestors by acknowledging the critically important role that Two-Spirit and LGTBQ plus people have within our community and within our nation. In addition to creating connections between Two-Spirit people and creating a culturally inclusive space for dialogue, the working group established a list of priorities intended to guide the development of programs and services offered by the Métis Nation of Ontario. Among these priorities was the need for LGTBQ Two-Spirit-centered mental health supports, healthcare system navigation for Two-Spirit citizens, education and training workshops for the MNO and community members, and the creation of resources to support community learning in relation to gender, sexuality, and the traditional roles of Two-Spirit people within Métis communities. These initiatives were intended by the Two-Spirit Working Group to support the overarching goal of shifting the way in which gatherings, meetings, and events within the MNO take place to ensure gender diverse folks feel acknowledged, valued, and respected. At the outset of our work together in 2016, the Two-Spirit Working Group recognized the enormity of what it was we were trying to accomplish. Because the voices of Two-Spirit people have long been silenced within our communities, even when our presence has been ex accepted. The unique experiences of Two-Spirit Métis citizens and the intersectional oppression faced by members of our community within a community have not been privileged in conversation, nor often taken into account when establishing programs and services. The imposition of European and church sanctioned notions of a supposed gender binary have been profound. The myth that there are only two genders has led to the loss of precious young lives within our communities, and it continues to be an exceptional source of harm. So it was clear to all of us that the work ahead would be challenging, but not unlike many of the experiences we had as a group on a day-to-day -day basis. From 2016 to 2020, we began setting about the business of reconnecting with each other and reclaiming our own space within Métis cultural, social, and political circle. Our work began by giving thanks, always by giving thanks, for all of those Métis Two-Spirit people that came before us, those people who endured innumerable indignities in order to gain the cultural knowledge necessary to instill future generations of Two-Spirit people with the resilience that we would need. And so we lit medicines, we shared experiences, we set out priorities, and we initiated a process of learning and unlearning within the Métis Nation of Ontario. In those initial four years, the Two-Spirit Working Group began an intentional and organized plan for our communities to return to the belief held dear by our ancestors. The belief that all beings in creation are inherently sacred and that every being has a role and a responsibility. That belief is at the core of all of the work our members have committed themselves to. And in doing this work, we've been overwhelmed by the support we've received from MNO leadership, from the MNO public service, and by our own communities. There truly is, I believe, a return to the old ways occurring within our nation, within the Métis Nation. In 2020, when COVID-19 made gathering in person impossible, the Two-Spirit Working Group began leveraging virtual platforms to continue important conversations about gender diversity and inclusion. We continue to light smudges, sing drum songs, and give thanks for what we saw as our newly formed Two-Spirit community. 
And rather than allowing the momentum gain to be diminished, we hosted the first Métis Nation of Ontario Two-Spirit Symposium in March 2020, entitled A Place in the Circle. This featured the stories, songs, and prayers of Two-Spirit Métis people and offered a unique chance to showcase the experiences that have fueled their leadership within our communities. This year, the second Métis Nation of Ontario Two-Spirit Symposium was held and included keynote talks by 60s Scoop survivor Lori Campbell and grandmother Charlotte Nolan. Each year, the gatherings grow and more come to listen to the gifts that the Two-Spirit community has to share. To further nurture respectful relationships, the Métis Nation of Ontario launched staff-wide training in a concerted effort to ensure the Métis public service is able to fully meet the needs of Two-Spirit people. I was humbled to lead these conversations and inspired by the number of Métis and non-Métis staff willing to truly investigate and challenge misconceptions about gender. In addition, a review of all Métis Nation of Ontario policies and procedures was undertaken to ensure gender inclusion and gender equity. There are hopes that this year will be transformative for the Two-Spirit Working Group and for the Métis Nation of Ontario as a whole. In moving towards a reclamation of traditional Métis values, the Working Group will seek to establish a formal council in the coming days. It is with a deep sense of humility that we hope to have the support of allies in our request to be acknowledged and included at all levels of Métis government. Collectively, by honoring the ways of our ancestors, our powerful vision for the future can be realized. Kisti Marsi, Ekshe.